Today, we're going to see this house. We found this house through a website called At Home. At Home is the equivalent to Trulia or Homes.com in the United States. The house is $78,000. It has five rooms plus a living, dining, and kitchen. It was built in 1993. The house is 158 square meters or 1,700 square feet. The land is 203 square meters or 0 0.50 of an acre. Here we're heading towards the house. It's overcast today and raining. As we can see, the road is pretty wide, wider than some other roads we've been down. This is the neighborhood. We're still in town. It's got snow melting machine. That is good. Yes. Here's the house, right here on the left. The entrance is right by the street. Ah, that could be a little dangerous. I guess I'd have to add a gate to make sure nobody ran out into the road and got hit by a car. It's got a carport too. Yeah. It's a garage. That's a carport slash semi-enclosed carport. Mm -hmm. But it's got a wall around the house. That's good. I would just add a gate. And there's the entrance. Yeah. There's green tiles. Yeah, the tiles are nice. Yeah. It's the side of the house. A little bit of the yard. Better than our last house we lived in. There I am walking into the house. Don't forget to take your shoes off. Always take your shoes off in Japan before entering a house. This is the entrance, pretty wide entrance. Quite a few windows. And there's another door that leads out to the carport. Inside here is a tatami room. And on the other side is a wood room, I think. Wood floor room. Yeah. Yeah, but you can make it one room, I guess. You know. The show in the upper had wood. Yeah. The sand wall and then the shoji and then go through here. One more sand wall and wood. Glass sliding door to the outside. Is this connected to the garage? It's not connected to the garage, but the garage is right there. Yeah, right there. You know, I think the carport is suspended right there as you see from the beam it's not on the house mm -hmm. it's you know near next to the house but it's not directly mounted to the house right so we'd have to remove that but anyways to make more parking this is the door leading out towards that area where the carport and garden is but we would have to make that and that could be the entrance where students came in i guess i could keep that room as the classroom yeah and, sure and here is the living dining kitchen it's, you know all one space very good nice wide window nice big kitchen yeah not bad at all yeah, nice though you can see the garden from the, the living room yeah but if we bought this house that garden would go away oh, yeah, that right. would become parking yeah you That's see you could leave a cost. little bit of a garden in the back maybe mm. maybe four feet that's about it, because uh, all this would have to be removed and turned into totally parking, parking. area. Yes, there's air conditioning and this kitchen. And kitchen's good size. I mean, I would want to put a breakfast bar, of course, you know, add a bar to it. Yeah, it's like we talked about in other houses, you know. And that's a really odd shaped window, but. Okay, <laughs> the hood looks kind of old. 
Two burners, I'm not a fan. I'd rather have four. Kitchen's wide, too. It's good, but it's missing a few. Um, a few of the faces. And then here is, I guess, yeah, it's a laundry room. Yeah, and that's a door to the outside again. That's your hot and cold water. And here's the wet room slash bath shower. It's mint green and blue. And the color you like. Wow, it's okay. The, the way it, you like blue. Yeah, okay. it's okay, but it kind of reminds me of an old timey ice cream parlor. Mm. <laughs> yeah, kind of makes me hungry for ice cream. It's kind of cute. I think about eating ice cream. <laughs> you know me and my pistachio yeah. ice cream. <laughs> and there's the toilet. Yeah. Yeah. Small toilet again, not ADA. It's just a small toilet, but it's clean. I like the door. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's got a regular door. Right. 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 Yeah. Okay. Door handles. And then some dangerous stairs. Yeah. Don't fall down these stairs. And I don't think they're too thick. Uh, yeah. Don't gain too much weight in this house. We could be trouble. Maybe. I'm sure they're strong enough. You? I mean, I'm talking about me. Don't gain too much weight. You're gonna fall? Well, I wouldn't trust it. They didn't look too thick, right? This there. case was nice though, the banister around. And here is one of the two tatami rooms that are adjacent to each other that can become one room, as they often do here in Japan. Uh, not too bad. You know, it's sand wall between this one and then the other one has terrible, like 1970s paneling. Yeah, they say they have leak in this room from oh. the roof. Oh, okay. Yeah, the part in the top. Well, we might want to we might want to take that off and make sure there's no mold inside. Mm -hmm. You know, that's kind of watch out for mold. So we learned in our old house in Florida, we got a little bit of black mold from a leaky roof and that was terrible to get rid of. My friend's son, poor him, he had to like get up there and scrape out all the black mold. Of course I had the right material, the right respir respirator mask and good stuff so he wouldn't get hurt. But yeah, him and I had to get rid of that and pay, pay to get rid of it. And here's another it's a traditional room. You know, that's not a closet. That I said that in another video. That's not a closet. That is a place to put your Buddhist altar. Mm -hmm. yeah, but you know, it's very nice. I always like the wood detailing that they do around the beams. It always looks really good. Like you can see, like the real knots of the wood, and it really looks nice. You know. Wow. It's always a cool feature, you know, in Japanese houses. Wow. But then it has a Western door. A, yeah. 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 Too many doors on that side. Are they all tatami rooms? Yes, they were all tatami rooms. Oh. Yeah, you'd have, if you wanted to, you could change it out, but you know, you know, like, we could do that. We could change it out mm -hmm. if we bought it. And this was like some kind of weird uh, place to wash tea. It's a Japanese, for traditional Japanese, green tea. You know, I guess this is what they use to store their green tea stuff and wash the cups and kettle and whatever. Another. And another and another toilet up here and yeah. one. it's green again. The toilet's green this time in the sink. Pea green. <laughs> Somebody likes green. Yeah, he said that it doesn't work. Oh, okay. You have to replace oh, that. Okay, so that that's something to mm. take. But so. but the toilet works. Well, I understand, but you want you're gonna want your bidet to work. Yeah, sure. And that doesn't make any sense there. And this was kind of weird. Instead of putting all the closets in the room, they had this going around the corridor. And it's a bunch of closets. 
a lot. Damn. You know. You can store all kind of clothes you got. I know, but why not just put closets in the room and then, I don't know. So I guess you don't have to go to the room. I guess. I, I don't know, mm. but that's okay. I mean, it's got a lot of storage. I mean, if you can look at it that way. Not like we have a lot of stuff, but at least you can store some stuff. And there's some water damage on the windowsill. It's not that bad. It's just from condensation. It can be stand, sanded and restained. Another closet. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of closets. It's good though. You know, you got his. You can hang clothes. I can hang clothes. You got a coat coat closet in there too. I mean, that's. You always need closet space. And sure. You never can have too much because somehow you accumulate many things and there's the coat closet area and you can hang your laundry coat. Yeah, that's coats. nice though. You can hang coats. Yeah. Because I do have one overcoat, you know, and that's... And I have a couple other jackets that are not really long, but there's the tile roof, the view of the garden from bird's eye view, and the carport. That we'd have to remove most of that garden and the carport if we bought it. Which it could be a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, he said um, maybe it cost ten thousand dollars to remove the the carport. Maybe he doesn't. Know. You know, yeah. you'd have to talk to that. You know, when you start talking about removing, okay, there's like boulders outside, and then they had a lot of trees, right? So all mm. those roots. You gotta, it's not just chop the tree down, you gotta dig out the roots so that mm. way you can build the foundation. Then you gotta pour a foundation, right. a really strong foundation at that with steel reinforcement mm. because you want cars to park on there. It's not like somewhere where you're gonna walk. You need something that a truck can mm. actually be on top of. So it's gotta be really strong. And here's another view of the entrance going to the outside. And you know, this is the carport area. And yeah, that's a view of air conditioning. And that's the kerosene gas area. I guess they fill up the kerosene gas. Yes. And well, the heat is. I'm walking through the garden back there with the umbrella, taking a look for, before Yuko joins me to film the outside. Yeah. It won't get wet. Well, rainy. Well, no, nobody wants to get wet. Yeah, the and camera. The camera is the main thing. And, and that's the door that goes towards the living room, dining kitchen, and classroom area. If I was to get this house, foundation looked pretty clean. I didn't see but one crack. Only just one small crack I saw in the foundation part itself. I, I don't know the detail, you have to go inside and see. And there's a spigot for the water. It's on that side, that's good, so. It's actually had two spigots, nice. Did you say you found the crack? Yeah, I think it's coming up. Um, it's over by the door. Is it a door? Yeah, I think it's on one of the doors on the other side of the house that's over by the uh, shower room. The shower room? I don't remember how. It's over here on this side. Mm. I found one crack somewhere coming up over here. I know, I zoomed in on it eventually. I think it's coming up right here. Right here. Yeah, it's just a really tiny crack. And I don't even think maybe it's that much of a big deal. It just needs to be sealed. That's all. Mm. It's not like some of the others we saw. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's a huge crack. Oh, no. Yeah. That's the main thing. You don't want want it to be huge. You don't want the water to get in there and do more damage. Yeah, that's it. You know. And then over here, you can see the tankless water heater, and it also is gas. Right? And that's a good point too. You don't have to worry about the boiler. 
In the weeks to follow, we're planning on making more house hunting videos, so stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, matane! Bye bye!